see people engage so smoothly, so crisply in face-to-face social interactions, I'm in awe. They look so cool, just standing there all relaxed, smiling and laughing at the same time, talking loudly enough for the other to hear, looking at each other in the face. (laughs) Ugh, must be nice. That kind of instant casual friendliness is an equation I can't comprehend. Oh, it's been explained to me. How did you do that, I ask. I don't know, I just talk to them. But it still doesn't click. Up until my junior year of college, an exciting Friday night was getting Olive Garden to go and watching my then boyfriend play God of War for three hours. But after a while, greasy breadsticks and video game spectating got really boring. I needed friends. So I created MySpace Hannah. My first step was to take an artsy picture of myself looking introspective and thinner than I actually was. (laughs) Then I spent hours spent hours looking at profile layouts before boldly deciding to construct my own from scratch. I had an edgy color scheme of all black, embedded the most profound tool songs on my homepage, (laughs) and topped it off with glitter. Lots of glitter. Last, I wrote an epic about me blurb detailing how deep I was, just an old soul wandering through this dark yet beautiful world let the virtual friendships begin. (laughs) Everything was going fine for a while, but then it all started falling apart. Hey, you should Facebook friend me. Oh, I'm not on Facebook. MySpace? Yeah. (laughs) MySpace became a virtual Chernobyl, and so I was born Facebook Hannah. Flush Hannah was always too damn timid and self-conscious. As a kid, she never had any friends. She was that dork who spent recess in the library. Her grandmother, who worked at the school, had to intervene and actually asked some girls in her class if they'd hang out with her. I mean, how embarrassing. Then, in high school, she dyed her hair black, which was so bad with her complexion, Spent all her free time writing shitty poetry, drawing shitty pictures of fairies, and glowering at students who were actually enjoying their lunch period. Because why? Friends are for mindless sheep. (laughs) Exactly. And as an adult, she was no better. Flesh Hannah would seldom leave her alcove of Adult Swim and Mega Man video games, except to go to school or work where she never talked to anyone. I, however, had full-on conversations with people about the genius of Tom Waits, feminism and George Eliot, the best ingredients for casseroles, and why is Woodman so fucking hard to defeat? (laughs) I wasn't it, the one who got an invite to that party. One day, after I successfully beat Mega Man 4, I logged into my Facebook account to find a little red notification square. (laughs) I had been invited to a party by a girl I barely knew. I was terrified, but she seemed to like a lot of the things Facebook Hannah had to say, so I went. Then the paranoia struck. What if she only likes Facebook Hannah and not real Hannah? What if I get there and I'm a huge letdown? I'm not as smart or funny as Facebook Hannah. The anxiety was crippling. I spent the first half of the night chugging Smirnoffs in a corner, watching the buzz of the party, envious and afraid. But some girl there, who was taking an art class or something, had seen some of my paintings on Facebook. Yeah? I squeaked. Yeah, they're really good. What was, like, your inspiration? (laughs) I started telling her. And then we had a conversation. (laughs) 
I talked some more with her and other people there, and at the end of the night, the hostess actually said, we should hang out. We should hang out. I have a friend. Thank you, Facebook Hannah. Flush Hannah has no idea how to talk to people. I, on the other hand, am a fluttering butterfly of engagement. I don't just wait for people to come to me, and what I have to say is always much funnier and more interesting. One time, I made this joke, something about dressing up as Sylvia Plath with a cardboard oven headpiece. <laughs> it got like 23 comments. <laughs> yeah, that took me three drafts. I can engage in witty, insightful exchanges because I actually have some confidence. I can post a cool drawing of dinosaurs with a funny caption and be perceived as amusing. Flesh Hannah would ask if you want to hear her pterodactyl impression and proceed to give it to you despite your response. <laughs> no one ever finds that amusing. Watch. Brah! No. Stop. <laughs> See what I mean? I know how to relax and just be human. She has been so helpful. If it weren't for Facebook, Hannah, I'd be much worse off. She's the one who friends people. I'm too scared to say more than seven words to. She sends out invites for people to come to my house, and they actually show up. I could never pull that off. She posts interesting things about writing and teaching and space exploration that people like, making me look less inane. She makes me seem a lot less awkward. One of my friends even noticed it. She told Flesh Hannah this one time. To be honest, I always wanted to talk to you when we had art classes and stuff together, but you seemed so standoffish. Now that I've gotten insight into your real personality via Facebook, <laughs> I really regret that I didn't just man up and talk to you anyways. Yeah, I did that. But for all of my hard work, everything I have tried to do for Flesh Hannah, she is still fucking hopeless. Watch this. <laughs> I love ribs, OMG, hashtag BBQ, hashtag mathgasm. <laughs> That's just Twitter, Hannah, anyways. <laughs> just a few weeks ago, I got Flesh Hannah invited to another event, a fancy writer's reception. And <sighs> just tell them, go on, tell them what you did. I was at the hors d'oeuvre table eating some cheese and crackers, and this guy came up and started chatting with me. Good cheese. Having a nice time? <laughs> uh-huh, with my mouth full. I said, I like sausage. I mean, <laughs> this sausage. Have you tried this sausage? Through his polite questioning, it came out that I was a poet. <laughs> he then asked about my style and practice. So what did you do, huh? I freaked out a little bit. A little? What happened next? Go on, tell them. <laughs> From what bits of the memory I haven't repressed, <laughs> I think I responded with something along the lines of, oh, I have a great bio a colleague just wrote for me. Let me go get it. <laughs> I ran off to fish it out of my purse, but by the time I got back, he had already engaged himself in conversation with someone else. But Flesh Hannah was on an unstoppable trajectory of awkwardness, weren't you? She interrupted his conversation to hand him this pathetic scrap of paper. He looked at it confused for two seconds, handed it back, and continued talking to somebody who wasn't socially impotent. <laughs> and then she skittered away to go talk to somebody she already knew, someone safe. Hey, whatever happened to MySpace Hannah? I don't fucking know, who cares? <laughs> but I had a nagging suspicion. He was someone kind of important. So the next day I found him on Facebook, Googled his name, and <sighs> he's got a fucking Wikipedia page. <laughs> and this guy actually wanted to know about my writing, but I totally brushed him off because because why? Because I can't put words together outside of a text box. I tried to fix my embarrassing first impression the only way I knew how. I added him on Facebook. 
I often try to blend Flesh Hannah and Facebook Hannah, but once I think I have them finally adhered, they end up disassociating, leaving me attempting once again to stitch my cybernetic and my flesh parts together into a cyborg of social competence. I'd really like to be able to have first draft conversations. <laughs> when I meet people for the first time, I wish they could scan Facebook Hannah, who puts a lot more thought into what she says and does, so they know that Flesh Hannah isn't boring or weird or vapid or standoffish. Perhaps one day I can be suave at the hors d'oeuvre table and in a snap throw down how I'm really interested in interdisciplinary poetics that attempt to unite disparate fields in order to inform each other and subsequently illuminate existential and materialist philosophies. Oh my God. <laughs> Flesh Hannah can never think of these things on the spot. It's a good thing Facebook Hannah is always a click away waiting to pick up the pieces. I may be disassociative, but at least I have each other. LOL, hashtag mental health, hashtag help us, hashtag the end. Ladies and gentlemen, Hannah Tawater and Facebook Hannah.